Hey, what is going on my guys and girls? Ha. <sighs> In a couple of days in the last video. Listen, beautiful shuffle virtual kind of beat coming in like five seconds. If you guys haven't already liked, subscribed, and hit that notification. Also, real quick, guys, I'm still hosting the contest. The deadline is the 22nd. All the details are on my IG post. First prize winner, laptop, 300 cash. Only like 10 people submitted so far. So listen, if you enter, your chances are looking good. With that being said, let's go straight into the tutorial. And real quick, let me break down the video so you guys know what's going on. I'm gonna show you guys a beat that I made break it down and then kind of you know show you exactly what I did how I did it and then I'm gonna go ahead and make a brand new beat so uh, get comfy stick around and let's make a banger and now that we're in FL studio I'm gonna go ahead and play this beat real quick and we can go ahead and break down it's not too complicated but there's definitely some things that I want you guys to see but we're just gonna play this real quick and just rock out you feel me My CPU is wildin'. Okay, all right. Let's just start off with the melody. What do we have in the first in the intro? Right here in the intro, if you guys can hear. We have this pad going on that sounds like this. This is pad 24 from the One Shot Kit. If you guys are interested, it sounds like this and 499 other sounds. Link's gonna be in the description. So here's what that pad sounds like. I also added in contact over here just to get some vocals in there. The preset is called bangers. And this is a little like loop that I made with it. Then I went ahead and added this little, oh uh, damn, I don't even know how to explain this. So pretty much this is what this sound sounds like it's called bouncy noise piano. And it sounds like this. Which doesn't sound all too cool, to be honest, but when you kind of just stab it, like, and that honestly gave me that kind of impact on each chord that I was looking for. So it sounds like that. So the last thing I added was this little lead right here. And then we also have another effect rack called Smooth Square Tremolo, and both of those combined makes the lead sound like this. go straight into the drums clap pretty standard we went in and added some hi-hats here so I changed this to a 1 6 step to get that really really fast roll and then I went ahead and played with the velocity to kind of give it sort of like a riser effect on to the next I added the open hat right at the beginning of the pattern to give the initial kick and 808 more impact too that sounds like that then I added a second open hat. And then to top off the kind of percussion side of it, we added one simple rim that comes in every four bars. I'm just kind of building and building on top of the bounce that I already have there. Now let's go to the 808s. Boom. Now with the 808s, I'm just following the bass line pretty much. To top that off even more and kind of play on that, you know, you know, big impact release, big impact release, I added three kicks in the beginning of the bar, and then there's no kicks for the next two bars, and then we come back with the kick again. What that did was emphasize those lower 808 notes so that you have as much impact as you possibly can. I'm gonna play it, take a listen, and let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you think like these kicks and all these little tricks really made a difference in the impact, or you feel like I'm just adding in BS. Now we're gonna take the four components that we spoke about earlier and we're gonna make a new beat and hopefully we can make another banger, something like this one. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with a very, very simple chord progression. Pretty much what you see here is all the chords in the F minor scale. I'm just gonna kind of play the chords and whichever ones I like, I'll go ahead and, and move off of that. Okay, all right, so I got it, right? So we're gonna use just these chords, right? So exit out and I wanna do something like this. It's gonna go boom, boom, 
Boom. Let's keep it like that. Let's find a different sound that we can use for this. Maybe let's go into the pad. Here we go, distant voices. Let's play with these real quick. See, this is F sharp minor. That's the problem. Why are we in F sharp? So I like that first note right there. I'm gonna put this on track number two and then render that little piece out. Right, boom. Now we can change the preset, but still have that there. Oh, that's fire. What if we layer that together? Now I want one more to kind of fill in this last little space over here. Let's uh, play this at the same time. Let's see what that sounds like. Ooh, we just double up on that. I want to try a different gross beat. Gates, I'm going to use a, a simpler one just to see what that sounds like real quick. All right, so we have the synth pads, we had the gate move around. We already knocked down two of the four kind of components that I like to use when making these kind of beats. Now, when it comes to the drums, simple 808, that's gonna come later. We need a strong lead. Let's go into expand and hopefully we can find something cool in here. All right, let's go ahead and get this lead down. Perfect. Oh, now we gotta double click that, move that an octave up to connect those. And let's see what that sounds like. This is what it sounds like right now with the gross beat. This is without. But that gross beat, the trance, you feel me? I think we can add like one more sound in here and then that's about it to be honest. So let's just try to grab like a bell of some sort. That should work right there. All right, that should work. Copy that over. little bit delay faster then we can turn the level down and then take the cutoff down too let's go ahead add an EQ take those lows out oh this is sounding fire already And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see where we have a lot of energy. And right around that 500 mark, I'm going to give a nice little dip to give the, uh, the bell some space. Okay, now we have the vocals. This is around like the, what, what's this, 300 range. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give a dip there too. I want every element to have its own space. <clears throat> All right, a couple changes real quick. Number one, I put my hair up because I'm hot as fuck. Number two, I use the arpeggiator and the piano roll. I press Alt A to give the uh, the bells a little more, I don't know, to give them more of like a dancey feel. Before, they sound something like this. 
with the arpeggiator, they sound like this. We have a clap going just for some bounce. And I want to get a nice little bounce using the hi-hats and the open hats. So. Let's move this over here. That doesn't sound too bad. What if we just keep looping that over? Another quick tip, once you're like throwing drums in here and instead of just going by each mixer track and you know assigning them to a mixer track manually, the control L and then it'll throw all of them to the next free mixer track. And also they're labeled so that when you do your little track outs, you know, it says, you know, rim shot, it says hi-hat, whatever. It doesn't say insert number eight. And actually I'm gonna go ahead and add this roll right on top of that other. Okay, 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 simple 808 pattern. That could work. Put some thump on there. Now let's go ahead and level everything else. So here's the clap. Let's go ahead and get the snare in there. I'm gonna pan the snare a little bit to the right. Open hats, left and right. So simple, but there's so much bounce. Then we can have the bells come in. Then let's have the lead come in. can switch off with the vocals. And that's pretty much the beat. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already liked, subscribed, and hit that notification bell because I've been getting messages that people aren't getting my notifications. If you want to be notified whenever I drop a video, hit that bell. And with that being said, I'm going to play this beat and uh, I'm done. Out of here, gang gang. Also, real quick, guys, I actually made a couple of changes at the end off camera. <clears throat> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. If you guys can actually name the change down in the comments below, I'm gonna give a bunch of free kits, the whole bundle to a bunch of people that can get it right. And with that being said, take a listen to this beat. I'm out of here again for the second time.